Nowadays, Juniper's zoo is going strong, just like her mother's art business. For Cynthia's mosaics became all the more popular once she started making some of Juniper's animals her art subjects. The dynamic duo have made names for themselves across Pantala. Word of them has even reached some heroes of the old war. Juniper had a recent visit from a particular silkwing and hyphen couple who absolutely adored her zoo. The silkwing was avidly excited about how animals were being taken care of, not eaten, and he curiously wanted to know what it was like to run a zoo. The hive wing wore glasses and asked every question there was to ask about every animal. Juniper had never seen someone so excited to learn so much at once. Meanwhile, Forsythia was well met by another popular artist from the cicada hive who specialized in tapestries. While Forsythia dabbled in these herself at a young age, this silkwing had fully mastered the art in the same way that she'd mastered mosaics. The two had a lengthy conversation comparing favorite pieces and discussing favorite art subjects. Forsythia thought afterwards that she'd never felt a deeper connection with another artist, in that they both find their exigence for their art in the feelings of love and respect that they have for the most important things in their lives. Forsythia felt an overwhelming sense of contentment as she thought about her life, what she'd learned, how she'd grown, her wonderful career, the amazing dragons she called family and friends, and the everlasting comfort in knowing that there's always more to learn, new dragons to meet, and more to discover and enjoy in this world. For Sophia was, and always will be, infinitely thankful for the freedom that the new fans hollow brings, and the love and togetherness it fosters in its dragons. What a life to be a dragon.